Hey everybody, it's Ben, Somerville Gardener. And today, October 12th, it's Saturday, we got something different going on today. Instead of me wandering around my backyard talking about my plants and other things I'm doing around the yard, even though it is very tempting to tell you about the bananas we got growing here, today we got a different thing going on. Because today we are headed down to Bradenton, Florida to check on the hurricane damage. The family's got a house down there and we're gonna go check on it, see what we can do to mitigate any problems, maybe do a little bit of cleanup. Got a lot of supplies and things here laid out. Uh, there is no electricity, so definitely bring in the, the generator there. Got all kinds of electrical cords, tools, equipment, speakers, batteries, water, toilet paper. I don't even know if there's toilet paper down there. Why is everybody taking all the toilet paper anyway? So I'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff loaded up and we're heading out. is on the left okay so we just pulled up to the house and i'm going to walk up front start from the street walk around so you can kind of see the whole place and the fun mess that i get to try and help clean up coming across the front of the house everything looks pretty good over here towards the driveway got a bunch of tree branches down have to get those cleaned up driveway could use cleaning up just a little bit bunch of tree branches down looks like a bunch of it's just gonna be chopping it up into tiny pieces and dragging it out to the street that looks like the trees a little crooked and come across the back of the house lots of shingles looks like ridge cap I don't know that belongs to us or somebody else uh, oh hey there's a stop sign and neighbors windows busted out that's not good Uh, let's see here. Uh, across the back of the house, just a bunch of brush. Windmill fell over. Not too bad. Looks like the, uh, somehow that fell off. That tree fared pretty good, all things considered. Coming over to the back side yard. Not much of anything here. Might need to take some of these branches off as high up as I can just to get them up and out the way. Cactus across the back definitely took a beating. And good and bad news is that'll regrow just fine. Unfortunately, every one of these leaves is going to have to get picked up. Otherwise, it'll spawn a new plant. Ah, uh, this tree looks really familiar. I just can't think of what it is. Let's use the handy dandy little app. Uh, which one is it? Ah, uh, picture this plant. Don't care, take a picture, snap a picture of it that looks about like that. Let's see what we got. That's probably about right, yep. It's that thingy. Got a couple more of those over here. Doesn't look too bad. The once little now big bush around this tree, the, the palmetto, I believe this is. Doom, okay, a couple little branches fell off it. It's kind of interesting how that's growing in there. 
big old lizards. Eh, signs down. And coming back across the front here, there's nothing here, so that doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look like there's any windows broken. Double check these over here on the side. Yep, those two look good. I think this is just leaves stuck in there real good. I'm pretty sure we don't have power still yet. Use a couple little shrubby trees. Looking fine, ain't nothing to do there. So yeah, all in all, that's not too bad. Just a bunch of tree branches down. Hopefully it won't kill me too much. Just crank up the chainsaw, zip it up into tiny little pieces and haul it on away. So the day of cleanup has been going pretty well. Got a few helpers out over here. An awesome neighbor, a couple neighbors have been uh, going around the yard, getting everything cleaned up, dragging stuff around. Wow, there's a lot of wasps up here. I'm just coming up to the roof, survey the neighborhood and see how many of these ridge vent and any other shingles that are missing. That way I can go ahead and get those replaced. Oh, lots of wasps. Quick view from the rooftop. There's this guy right here. He's got his uh, blue tarp going there. A couple shingles and ridge vent uh, shingles missing off of that guy. A couple over there. Kind of pan across over here. Boat looks okay. neighbor's house behind i'm not even sure if i can see it from this angle maybe in a little bit there's a a human shaped cutout of their window kind of cool just looks like the kool-aid man or shaggy just kind of like jumped right through it and just pff, smashed the glass so let's see here got uh two ridge vents missing there rest of the roof looks pretty good as far as shingles go i don't see much wrong there uh looks like that Yep, one nail left holding that one on. But a big old strip across here needs to get replaced. Uh, that side looks pretty good. Looking pretty good over here. Not too bad. Another quick pan of the neighborhood from over here on this side. Looks like their screen pool came out okay. I don't see anything wrong with their screened in pool. Neighbors looking good over here. Almost no damage. Looks like nothing happened over here. Backyard cleanup going well. Not a whole lot of damage raining down trees over here. Power line stayed up. Uh, there's a good chance that we'll have power here shortly, which will be really nice so I can take a hot shower. The power guys are right over here. They're trying to find one more pole so they can get uh, electricity back up and going for us. Got one branch over here dangling. Uh, yeah, let me see if I can zoom in on that right there. Or maybe I can get a picture from the other camera. Uh, there's a, a human shaped glass just broken right there. That yeah, was kind of cool. Other than that, a few branches still dangling and hanging. Uh, there's one right up over here in this tree. Uh, there's one hanging up over here. But other than that, I think it fared really well. Take a look at the neighbors, see what they're up to. Yeah, definitely should have brought the golf cart and trailer. That would have helped out immensely. And I'm trying to see if I can. Hey, he had a branch going through his roof. I think. I'm not sure if it's through his roof or if he just had a bunch of branches on his roof. I don't see it from this angle. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and bang in some nails. Have a little bit of fun. Try not to get stung by wasps. And down the scary ladder I go. Oh, hey, there, there's a nice, there you go. There, there's a good angle on that window. Well, hey, this isn't too bad for somebody that's never done a ridge cap before. That's not me. Got it all put back up. Had to do a little Had to do a little bit of uh, architectural ridge cap. Uh, not exactly the, the best thing. What do? What are you doing up here? What are you doing up here? You're not supposed to be up here. Get down. Get down. Anyway, 
So it's not perfect. Uh, there's a few architectural shingles we had to move, kind of work in here in the middle. But all things considered, not too bad for my first ridge cap, I, I hope. I tell you what, I'm gonna give it my personal guarantee. It will hold until the next hurricane. Yes. The backyard is looking much better. Girls and everybody did a good job cleaning that up, getting all the brush off of ours. Neighbors, we still haven't seen them back over there. Their place looks a little disheveled still. Let me go ahead and traverse this nice dangerous ladder here. And hopefully I've gotten everything off the roof that I need. They got the driveway all blown off even, nice and clear. You can actually drive in here if you needed to. I think the girls are about to go try and find some food. We're told a Little Caesars is open and a Wendy's. So not great options. But hey, some kind of quick, fast food is better than none. And I'll start here at the front of the driveway. I uh, got a big old pile of branches and everything up at the curb, ready for pickup. The nice, pretty branches here. I did have to give it a little bit of a haircut right here for the uh, little growth that was up there. Not too bad though. Front of the house, pretty much nothing. We found a few of the neighbor shingles from the guy that lost a bit of his roof. So we got a bunch of shingles in the front, but those are all picked up. Front of the house looks just fine-ish. Somebody could uh, rake the yard, I guess, or not. Over here on this other side, uh, about the first, say 30 feet is us and the rest of it's picket. Walk it around over here. I'm not sure exactly where the property line is, so we just cleared out what he didn't. Oh, hey, here's those pineapples I was told about. Why are they planted in the shade? So the pineapples look like they survived. Maybe just clear them out a little bit better. Good enough. Oh, it looks like somebody's got a citrus tree here. Not sure whose this is, Meyer lemon. Thing cleared out, all the big stuff anyway. Still a lot of leaf litter and debris, but it's all cleaned up. Oh, forgot the ladder. Roof looks good, which is a good thing. No more leaks. There's a dangling branch there still. I'll let somebody else get that. There was something, I had to cut it up. It was uh, kind of broken. I don't know what it was. I cut it off there. I don't know if it'll survive, but it's a thing. It might grow back. It might not. Trees over here, neighbor's yard, look a bit disheveled. The wall. Picked up a bunch of the cactus leaves that were all over and kind of threw them up and over. I'm not sure what that is. It's a thing. It got blown over a little bit. It's fine, maybe. This would be a great place for a bunch of citrus right over here on this side of the yard. Wood chip the whole thing to have a company come in that picks up all these branches. Dump about 10 or 12 dump trucks of wood chips. Plant a bunch of citrus trees, guava, papaya. That'd be nice.